Hey, how's it going? My name is Adam. Welcome to A Duda Reviews, an entertainment channel for entertainment purposes. I cover TV, movies, music, all of that beautiful stuff. And if you like the sound of that, maybe consider liking and subscribing. Thank you very much. Greetings to you now, YouTube, and welcome to A Duda Reviews. I speak to you in generic European accent because today I am reviewing Eurovision Song Contest, A Fire Saga. Please enjoy. So yeah, I apologize for that terrible random accent, but uh, yeah, Will Ferrell is back doing what he does best, random weird comedy uh, in the vein of Zoolander, Anchorman, Step Brothers, Talladega Nights, Blades of Glory, to name but a few. Um, Rachel McAdams also stars in this film. And her films that I've personally seen, Southpaw, Doctor Strange and Wedding Crashes. I've only seen three of her films because I think she tends to be in a lot of uh, romantic comedies. I don't tend to go for that genre quite so much, but she was really good in this as well. Um, and also starring Piers Brosnan, who I mainly know as... Her name's Bond. James Bond. It was a fun film. It, I wasn't expecting it to be good because lately, um, from a lot of reviews I've seen and clips I've seen of some of his later films, Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell has gone a little bit downhill with his comedies. But this was definitely a return to form. He, he has a formula that he sort of sticks to with a lot of his films. This is a very formulaic film in the sense that it's like Blades of Glory and it's like Talladega Nights, where it's like he's got this competition that he has to win and he's up against the odds and like there's all these like villain villains of the other side and they're gonna cause mischief and cause problems for Will Ferrell and his partner there's always a partner as well there seems to be with his formulaic thing but I think the Eurovision Song Contest was a good uh, comedic platform to use the Eurovision Song Contest is a real event and it's actually quite funny to watch if you've ever watched it it's sort of very cheesy very camp so basically the story as i've sort of said is the simple premise of a young boy and a young girl dream of becoming eurovision song contest stars they're both from iceland and they dream of becoming these eurovision song contest stars will ferrell's father played by Piers brosnan is disapproving and just wants him to be a fisherman like him and his father before him and his father before him kind of thing but Will Ferrell has these big dreams of being a Eurovision Song Contest winner so I mean that sort of formula we've seen before from him so cut to years later and they are you know they're playing in bars and they are trying to reach that goal and then through a certain mishap they actually get into the Eurovision Song Contest and then it's just from there on it's just like random songs and random performances and random sort of slapstick comedy that ensues but it is really well done and the the music in it is really funny as well which is obviously you've got to have on point when when you're doing a film of, about a song contest so it's got to actually be musical and it really was and it was quite funny and if you've ever seen a Eurovision song contest before they actually do have some contestants from the Eurovision song contest in it they had uh the bearded lady guy, I forget his name, but he was in it. They had Lordy, like who were this sort of monster group and they just played it. So the weird and wonderful of Eurovision is all sort of represented in this film. The ending to the film was actually quite a sincere one and it almost sort of garnered sort of actual legitimate emotion from me. I was like, wow, this is actually, and then it goes back into sort of a bit of comedy again, but it was like, that it actually felt quite heartfelt near the end that they'd achieved this goal of whatever they achieve. I'm get pr pretty sure you can guess the ending because it, like I say, it's very formulaic. Um, the only thing, bad thing I would say about this, it is slightly overly long. They probably could have cut a lot of the songs out here and there and like a few little bits that just weren't needed. So it was slightly overly long, but 
overall it was a return to form for Will Ferrell I would say and it's like something I wasn't expecting for it to be good but it actually was quite good Rachel McAdams was really good in the role and yeah there were some funny songs in there funny moments and I'd definitely say it's worth a watch uh, so if you have a Netflix subscription get on it watch Eurovision Song Contest a fire saga because it's pretty funny I think personally if you like Will Ferrell and his style of comedy uh, along with the films that I've listed, like Talladega Nights, Blades of Glory, that kind of thing, then I think you'll probably like it. If you don't like that sort of thing, you won't like it. But I personally do, so I find it funny. So that's it. That's my review for Eurovision Song Contest Fire Saga. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I love you very much. God bless. Goodbye.